Peace fam. Today we're going to talk about aluminum. Now this metal is found in hundreds of products that we use every day. So it's almost impossible really not to be exposed to it. However, that's all the more reason to limit the exposure we do have to the metal. Okay, as much as possible. Now aluminum has a very high leaching potential. And in fact, it's generally considered to leach into any material or food that it comes in contact with for a certain amount of time. Several studies show a consistent pattern of contamination with this metal, one of which uses a complicated analysis process called plasma atomic emission spectroscopy. Okay, it's a fancy word. And this is where they basically ignite the material, the aluminum, and measure the amount of atomic particles in the emission of the ignition or the flame. Sort of like making a mini explosion and then measuring the particles per square inch or some other micro measurement of the particle release. Now there are several factors that influence the amount of leaching. One, the acid content of the food that's being boiled or cooked. <clears throat> Two, the temperature that the metal is heated to, the aluminum. And three, the amount of heat exposure to the aluminum all add variables to the contamination. So for example, milk boiled and aluminum pans had a leaching level of about 0.2 to 0.8 milligrams per kilogram, which is relatively small. Now tap water boiling in aluminum pans yielded leaching of about 0.54 to 4.3 milligrams per liter. But the longer the water boiled, the more aluminum leaching occurred, all the way up to 17 milligrams per liter. Now that's considerable in my book. Now when you add acidic foods to the mix, or fruits involved in the boiling process, such as would be the case if you were boiling lemons with tea for a tea drink, and by the way, tea leaves also contain aluminum. I discussed that one in one of my earlier videos. But anyway, the acid in the food increases leaching even more. And when they did test of these type, it yielded up to 77 milligrams per kilogram in the resulting juice or the resulting fluid that they boil. So that's a lot. Now most aluminum, aluminum cans that package fruits and other acidic products contain a polymer coating to prevent the metal from reacting with the acid and contaminating the food. Now you, just can, you can usually see the coating as a whitish layer throughout the inside of the can, especially the top. Now the problem is this coating is called bisphenol A. And that's proven to interfere with human endocrinology, okay, your hormones. So all of these factors should be considered before you deal with canned foods. Um, your canned food supply should be small, to say the least. If this information has helped you in any way or you found it valuable, don't hesitate to subscribe. Also, for consultations, Go to lessons101store.com, navigate down to the health consultations link, and from there it will take you to our health library page where you can receive a consultation.